Hey guys, we're back with DeLorean Tech here and we're going to be looking at how to check your ignition timing. We're going to use a uh, old-fashioned timing light and uh, I have not uh, checked the timing on this car. It's recently had a stage one so we want to check and make sure that the timing is to factory spec. You want to look for 13 degrees plus or minus two. If you buy a light like this, it comes with some wiring. There's always going to be a clamp that attaches to a spark plug. Like that. You have a negative connection. So I always like to connect it to one of the engine loops, little lift points down there. And then the positive goes at the jump, battery jump spot. And then this gun just happens to have a connector that goes on to the gun itself. We'll start the engine and we'll point the light at the uh, uh, timing plate. So we're looking at the uh, left notch on the timing plate and when the engine's running the crankshaft pulley will spin and we're trying to make the notch on the crankshaft pulley match up with that left notch. And if it's aligned then we know we have the timing correctly. So this is the inductive timing light that we're going to be using the actual gun itself. So this car had its timing spot on and now we're going to try to find a car that doesn't so we can make some adjustments. car is a little bit low, so what we're going to do is we're going to make the adjustment. It's slightly off, you can see it. It's kind of hard to pick up on the camera, but it's showing us slightly off. Alright, so we just tested this car's timing, and it's just a fraction off of 13 degrees. So the idea is that uh, we have to physically rotate the distributor cap 
to uh, advance timing. So um, there is a retaining nut uh, that is all the way down here. You can see what my blue finger is. You can see there's a nut. So I gotta loosen that in order to get the cap loose. So we're going to loosen this nut, 11 millimeter wrench. And once the nut is loose, we can rotate the distributor. All right, so we've got the nut that's holding the distributor in place loosened, and now we're gonna make the adjustment. So what you gotta do is you actually have to reach in here and turn that distributor cap right there while someone else is flashing the gun on the timing plate and making sure the two notches come together. So you just start the car up. So you're going to have to have a second person hold the light while you have somebody else rotating the distributor cap. And the goal is to get the two notches to line up. There, I moved it. No, not yet. It's actually further off now. Keep going. Keep going. We're getting there a little bit more. A little bit more. It's uh Okay, good. That's good, that's right on. Yeah? Right on. So you may need to do this a couple times to make sure that it stays lined up. Oh, it's off a little bit more now. Where is it now? It's like in the middle now. Oh. Okay. Gotta go the other way. Is that good? Not bad, actually. It's almost dead on right there. Let's see how long it stays. I think it's almost, I think it's like dead on. Yeah. Hold on a sec. So the idea is to get those two notches to line up right there. Again, it's kind of hard to capture on camera, but you can see it. So if you notice your car a little sluggish off the line and you've never checked your timing before, it's a good idea to uh, check it and see where it is. Uh, especially if you're in California, the smog shop is going to check your timing. And if it's off, 
uh, then they'll probably fail you. You have uh, 13 degrees is the setting. You have plus or minus 2 degrees. So it could be uh, 10 or 15, and you'd still pass the smog. But try to dial it in as close as you can to 13. And that's the video today. Thanks for watching.